Podcast presents. Welcome to the EBS podcast about nano degrees. My name is Jim Seltenreich, and I'm the head of master studies here at the Estonian Business School. Today, I'm joined by Anna Brol and Kerli Gantvas, who will talk about their nano degree, data driven and circular business transformations. Anna, Kerli, welcome. Uh, you're both joining us virtually today, uh, but I would love to hear a little bit more about your nano. So. Anna, maybe you can start with uh, explaining what is the data-driven part. Thank you, Jim. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, greetings from the US. Uh, this uh, nano degree ties together theoretical and practical knowledge about three existing megatrends, uh, circular economy, big data, and emerging mechanism in finance and finance to enable business transformations. So uh, I'm a data expert. Uh, I work with uh, big data. And as we know, big, big data is the new oil. Businesses are facing an increasing stream of data that needs to be managed, visualized, analyzed before any insights can emerge. Uh, at the same time, it's uh, also clear that not a single business can escape uh, the transformation the circular economy transformation. So uh, this course will be relevant for every business, big and small. And this nano degree has four courses altogether. Two will be uh, dedicated to circular economy, two to green finance, and one to artificial intelligence. Over to you, Carly. Thank you, Anna. Yes, as Anna uh, nicely made the introduction, it's uh, one of the global megatrends is the circular economy. And we have uh, we have combined that with uh, with data and finance. And uh, I mean, this is a fact today that the world is facing serious climate change, resource scarcity, and waste cri waste crisis. And therefore, we we fundamentally have to rethink the kind of consumption and production systems. And uh, businesses uh, play a crucial role in the, in this transition. So in this nano course, we put business at the center um, and we unfold like circular economy um, from the business perspective. Um, the, the circular economy courses, um, uh, we have two courses dedicated primarily on circular economy. One is taking circular economy from a macro perspective. Uh, explaining what it is, what does it mean for business, uh, but also what are the um, macroeconomic um, uh, enablers and barriers like policy, uh, consumer consumerism, consumer behavior, technology part, but also business models. So the first course takes more the macro perspective, understanding um, uh, how should um, businesses relate to those macro trends and the second course takes uh, business models um, goes more on an organizational level um, how should businesses uh, design um, uh, new business models from a circular economy perspective um, how do they manage them how implement uh, and there were data and um, uh, technology and finance um, are, are very, very important parts so that we, 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 we are very practitioner oriented course. Uh, we come with practical backgrounds, um, all of our lectures. Um, and, and we, we don't want to talk about sustainability and circular economy from a very conceptual perspective, but we want to put numbers and, uh, kind of practical, uh, tools into the course so that, uh, it gives, um, both a wider understanding, but also skills in actually how to go about it in the practical uh, business life. So Anna, would you like to compliment or, or maybe Jim has another question? <laughs> As you both mentioned businesses and organizations in your uh, introduction, who should join this nano? Is it only business owners or can also people uh, employed by medium sized organizations get some benefit from your course? That's a great question, Jim. Uh, we would like to welcome everybody, would like to welcome business owners who want to transform their businesses, but also intrapreneurs, those who are entrepreneurial within a business context, it could be a smaller or medium sized business, uh, would learn how to manage these three megatrends. And this could be a 
a very good career driver for them to improve their career opportunities. Okay, so the the audience is very white, and and you would like to see very uh, a lot of diversity in your classroom, which is uh, considering the topics also very relevant. Um, you both mentioned already a little bit about the courses that uh, will be part of it. Uh, maybe you can also uh, enlighten the, the listeners a little bit about who will be teaching those courses, who are those experts that are coming in and joining our uh, classes. Kerli, maybe you can start with the circular economy. Yes. Uh, so we um, we are a very international team. Um, so from um, from a circular economy perspective, I will be teaching myself. I have, I have a practical industry experience, and I work with circular economy around ten years, both as a researcher but also a practitioner. Um, and then we have uh, Alexander Kekkonen, who is um, uh, who is a researcher and lecturer at DBS. Uh, we will also be uh, inviting uh, guest speakers to give um, kind of a practitioner um, perspective from uh, concrete cases. Um, so um, this is from the circular economy perspective, but Anna, would you like to introduce the other speakers? Uh, yes, absolutely. As uh, Carly already mentioned, we are a truly international team. So we're covering most of the globe. Uh, Carly herself um, has been, has uh, multiple years of experience working in the EU, specifically in Denmark. Alexandra Kekkonen herself uh, is from Russia, and she brings uh, that perspective to the table. Uh, then uh, one of the uh, professors for our finance course, uh, Ravi Kashyap, is currently a professor in Singapore. And he has a degree from the US and has lived in the US for a long time. Um, then Mark Kanchikov um, is has also uh, international experience and um, as well as myself, I'm, I'm living now in the US. But before that, um, I used to live in Switzerland in Germany, as well as in uh, Estonia, I'm, I have Estonian heritage. So um, this is to show that we will have a truly uh, international perspective that ranges from Asia to Russia to the US and back to Europe, uh, which is the best kind of team you can get to explain these megatrends because we do have a very wide view on, um, on this topic. And uh, to go into more detail, in addition to the two circular economy courses, the foundational one, the macro course, and the course dedicated to business models, we will have two green finance courses and one artificial intelligence course. So the green finance course will be <clears throat> taught by Mark Kanchikov, uh, who is finishing his dissertation at Tartu University and who has been teaching finance for over a decade now. He has also practical experience and he has been an expert witness in a number of court cases in Estonia. Uh, and um, he, uh, the, the course will also include uh, some uh, invited speakers uh, and the course will uh, be based on a foundational book in grain finance. And it will explain how new emerging finance um, finance mechanisms such as cap and trade, uh, green bonds, uh, financing for environmental and um, projects that are re related to climate change can be conducted uh, in the context of uh, uh, usual finance understanding. So uh, we will build upon the knowledge of foundational knowledge and finance and add the green component to it, explaining uh, new uh, mechanisms that are emerging. So that would be Mark's course. Uh, Ravi's course uh, is a very interesting collaboration between EBS and Estonian Venture uh, Capital Society and uh, Private Equity Society. So the uh, this course will be uh, focusing on venture capital and private equity uh, and we'll have a number of guest speakers. So this course is the guest speaker course where you will hear the professor at the same time there will be so many exciting practitioners uh, 
um, that have um, invested into um, ventures and they will share their experiences and uh, uh, explain to the students at the NANA degree how exactly they're choosing these investments, what is expected from them and how this connects to uh, circular economy thinking. And last but not least, there will be a, a course in artificial intelligence. When you uh, look at artificial intelligence, a lot of uh, firms want to do it, but still quite haven't figured out how to apply this new uh, data management um, data management technique um, to their business models. So we will be solving a number of business cases. Uh, we'll be looking at use cases of artificial intelligence and uh, seeing how in artificial intelligence can help us uh, green our business models and as well reduce the cost. So artificial intelligence means it is likely to be cheaper. Um, that would be a good summary of uh, our team. Actually, it's a really, really amazing team. Kelly. Yeah, maybe I just wanted to um, add that, um, I mean, we said it's a very practical oriented course. Uh, our own background is, uh, is different. So we will actually uh, take uh, different like sector specific cases as well. So. Uh, uh, like finance and banking, uh, transportation, um, energy, fashion. I have myself worked with um, more than 10 years within textile and fashion sector globally. Uh, so this will provide um, like sector specific um, uh, insights as well. And I think Anna put the courses in a very kind of nice and detailed way and just maybe the business model course we would uh, we would also look into like what are the organizational barriers like from a management perspective to innovating your business model, uh, but also like how to collaborate with uh, and how important it is to collaborate uh, within your ecosystem across the value chain um, in creating the circular um, innovation and transition. So we will be looking um, at the business model, but also how to put that business model in practice. Uh, in organization and then how to finance it and how to work with data so that um, at the end of the day, this would uh, create kind of a, a good foundation for the, for the course uh, student to, to get the big perspective, but also more practical understanding. Okay. Yeah. To really uh, unite these two different viewpoints and to really make sure that there's this macro level understanding as well as this micro level implementation that you can do within your own organization or uh, as part of your own business so that that really unites the the views uh my final question to both of you uh, if our view, uh, listeners are not yet convinced what would be the one reason you would give them to join this not a great nano degree maybe anna we can start with you Well, I can guarantee it will be fun. It will be time well spent and invested and you will learn new skills. So that is one big takeaway. I think this is the reason why um, a lot of uh, professionals decide to go back and uh, be a student again is to have a little fun and to learn a lot of new things. And these megatrends are new. We are talking about it, and sometimes we don't know what that means. What is a circular economy? What kind of new financial mechanisms are emerging? What is artificial intelligence and how to apply that? If you take this nano, you will have an opportunity to uh, gain that knowledge. Thank you very much. That's great. Kelly. Yeah, I think Anna put it very nicely, but maybe just to add that um, um, to get inspired um, and to understand like from the from the perspective of their own kind of either business or the business they're starting or um, because I have uh, I have often conversations with um, different professionals who's we everybody know today that circular economies has come to stay but how actually it does make sense of it uh, from your own um, business perspective uh, what are the also regulations the market trends but also tools like how to how to work with that 
uh, within an organization. So it's both to get inspired, informed and guided um, uh, in this kind of landscape. Um, it is not uh, it, it's not the comprehensive deep dive course in uh, in all those, but it will be a solid um, foundation um, in these topics. We are very excited, so I'm sure students will be excited too. Thank you very much. I'm actually also very, very excited. I think it's a great nano degree and it is really a topic that is very, uh, very much in demand right now in the world, combining both the viewpoints of circular economy as well as this data driven decision making AI. All these points are um, struggles that organizations and businesses are constantly challenged with. And I think it's very, very relevant to to address this topic, especially from the business school point of view. Thank you both very much for joining me. It was a pleasure to have you. Uh, for our listeners, the Nano Degree Data Driven and Circular Business Transformations will take place in the autumn 2021. I hope to see you there.